Welcome to a tutorial video on Bitsy 8. In this video, I'm going to discuss downloading and importing HTML. So I have previously closed all of my tools right here, just so we can see a completely empty screen of Bitsy right here with all the tools closed. And the reason I've done that is because sometimes as we create things, we might want to save what we're doing. And so if we go to tools and then download, we have this tool right here, of course, called download. Notice it has two options, download game and upload game. Anytime we make a game and we want to play it outside of the editor right here, we want to send it to someone or post it to a website, we need to download the game as an HTML file. The HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. We don't really need to know what the language does, other than it's a file web browsers can understand. So once we've downloaded it, we can open up in a web browser on most computing devices, phones, tablets, and other things like that. We can also upload a game again. So once we've created a download right here, I've created a download, notice download and download and importing HTML, we can then upload the game exactly as we had it. So something I encourage people to do using the download tool is if they expect to have different versions of a game, they might go ahead and download that version, save it to another folder on a local device, and then as they're working through, potentially download the game again, and that way you have different versions you can then upload. This is also great when collaborating with other people. Bitsy is just a single person tool, but because it can be downloaded and re-uploaded, potentially someone working on a game can do the work they need to do, download that current version, send it to someone else to work on who can then upload that exact version and begin again when work. And then for each of those, downloading and re-uploading the game. This is also incredibly important is because Bitsy primarily works in a web browser, which means if we accidentally move web browsers or move computers, sometimes we want to keep the work with us. And so the easiest way to do that would just be to download that file that can be re-uploaded on another computer in a different web browser. So the download tool is incredibly useful to us to download the example game, re-upload examples, or the ability to, again, create different versions or collaborate with people all using the single download tool, and of course, all within Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.